Okay, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to boil water. Now this is a latent heat experiment. I did this a few years ago, but I looked at it, it's really probably not complete. And so I'm going to try to make this one a little more complete. Okay, that's water. There's about a 20,000 BTU burner underneath it. I'm going to boil that water. Now when I boil that water, it's going to start bubbling away and it's going to stay pretty much the same temperature until the water is completely boiled away. This is to illustrate that it is absorbing latent heat because that burner cannot heat that water any hotter than 100 degrees Celsius or 212 Fahrenheit. I'm using Fahrenheit numbers here. As Americans, we tend to do that. And right now, let's take a look at the temperature probe. Okay, because the water is warming up, you can see the temperature rising. Now, it's absorbing sensible heat. Pure water would absorb sensible heat at one BTU per pound. That's Fahrenheit, of course. The temperature probe is going to tell me as the temperature rises and it absorbs more sensible heat. But when it hits the boiling point, it's no longer going to change. That probe is going to stay more or less the same until there is no more water left in that pot. And then we'll see what happens then. Down here at that probe again, you can see I've set the probe up so it's a little off the bottom because it doesn't read effectively when it's in contact with the bottom because the bottom will actually be warmer than the boiling point. So let's just watch this thing and see what happens as we go through this boiling process. Now we're getting very close to boiling. Now you notice right now, we're kind of settling out. Every once in a while it bounces around a little bit, but that's because of the boiling water taking it off contact. Now you can see it's boiling very vigorously, and we're running about 207, 206, which is about normal for the altitude I'm coming from. We're boiling very vigorously. It's get, gotten even more vigorous as I've watched. And yet, the temperature here has not really changed. It's still sitting the same. Now, it's going to do that until there's no more water left to boil. And then let's see what happens then. Now, while this is boiling, I want you to know there is a paper coating on the outside of this. The metal can has a paper coating. Notice that paper coating is not burning. That's because all that heat, that latent heat, 20,000 BTUs worth of burner here, is being absorbed by the boiling water. Still holding at about that 207 number. No change. Okay, we're about halfway down. Still holding that 207, 206, whatever. Probe's still in the, in the water, but it is boiling down to about half. Same temp. Now we're getting real low. Not much water left. You'll notice the temperature uh, of the probe is going down. That's normal when the water gets so low, most of the probe's out of the water. So it's gonna actually read a little bit lower temperature than the boiling temperature. But this is all going to change pretty quickly here. Now note, we're almost out of water. The probe is showing a low number now because most of it's out of water. And it's, it's reading the cooler temperature of the vapor. But we are almost out. Now look at the pan. The paper is still paper. 
That's going to change when this thing empties out. Now we're getting very close to being empty. Notice part of the pan's already empty and the rest of the water is boiling off very quickly. But you know one other thing. We got a hot spot in the bottom of that pan. Where there's no water, that hot spot has formed already. I can smell this thing starting to burn. Now the temperature probe is going to be a little slower to take this uh, into account because it's uh, it's not immersed in water. But you can you can actually see the bottom of that pan discoloring as the water leaves. Notice on the very bottom, we're starting to get a little bit of fire. That's burning off that paper. Actually, it smells like plastic, so I guess that's what it is. Okay, what's happening with the temperature? We're showing about 208. Notice the pan starting to burn the paper. The entire bottom is entirely discolored. We got smoke coming off of it note the temperature we're at 300 degrees and climbing four hundred When we hit about 500, I'm going to take that probe out of there because it's not going to, I'm going to burn up my probe. Okay, you can see it's absorbing sensible heat now because it's getting hotter. Okay, taking the probe out. After a few minutes, you can pretty much see it's burned up most of the uh, label. The bottom of the can is probably getting pretty close to red. I don't know if it'll ever get that hot. Once that water is boiled out, the heat cannot be absorbed by latent heat. The only thing left is it can increase its temperature. Okay, checking the temperature with a non-contact probe I'm showing in excess of 750 degrees because this thing doesn't go above 750. And even up the sides, it's still above it. It's a little hard, tough to do with these with metal because sometimes they're not real accurate. But I think it's pretty good indication that this entire thing is over 750 degrees. That's it on the latent heat experiment.